The Bamboo Labs A1. Today we're gonna get out of the box and get my first impressions. See you guys inside. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. As I said, today we are taking a look at the Bamboo Lab A1. Basically, Bamboo Labs confrontational fiend to fighting the Ender 3 as your introductory printer. So the Ender 3 from Creality has held the intro, your first printer, for a long time. We've all heard it. That's the one I got. That's where I got started on. That's even where I got started on was the Ender 3. Well, this one's supposed to change your mind about that. Lots of bells and whistles. AMS compatible, which I'm gonna put an AMS on this one. We're gonna show that here in a little bit. I've already put my AMS light together, but we're gonna get this out of the box. We're gonna take a look at its fundamental features. We're gonna talk about it a little bit, what I like, what I don't like about the machine, and then I'm gonna take it out for a test print. So first, before I get it out of the box, if you like this, the way that this is presented and all that, and you like 3D printing or model building or anything, hit that subscribe button and join us. Cause we're doing all kinds of stuff like that over on this channel. Also, give the video a thumbs up. It really does help us out. If you watch to the end and enjoy the content, let us know. And also, if you have any questions about 3D printing, model building, this particular machine, leave the comments down below and we'll see what we can do. All right, so I'm gonna set this down. I'm gonna get it out of the box and have everything laid out on the table. Let's get it out. All right guys, so it's all out of the box and it's, it's a mess on the table. So first thing we've got is our textured pie build plate that we'll, I'll install and use. It's the beautiful new gold ones that I'm, start, I'm seeing on almost all the bamboo lab machines um, it used to be and here you can see it's nice gold textured um, used to be they came with the smooth uh, cool plates but now they're coming with these so definitely kind of a change i've noticed recently um, we've got the main body we've got the upper arm we've got the uh, filament spool which i won't be probably using this piece because i'm going to connect an ams We've got the tool kit with all of our screws, uh, lots of screws for the base housing and different components all right there. Lubricant, Allen wrenches, a spare cleaning scrub, uh, scraper blades if you need replacements, uh, a footy and lubricant oils. So we're gonna use all of that. You've got the main body housing with the LCD already attached and everything built in. We're gonna start working on that here shortly. I'm gonna do that off camera. So when we come back, you'll see the printer put together. I'm just following the instruction, guys. Um, you've got your scraper that will go at the end of the control arm so it will clean um, off excess filament. And we got our wiring and our upper axis right here that will slip into the main housing. And of course the PTF tube, since I didn't order this one with the AMS, it, it is set up for a singular. I got the AMS separate sec, uh, separately. Now the part I don't like about what I saw, well, no, one more thing before I get into what I didn't like, and a separate power cord. So the A1 Mini, it's integrated. This one is separate and removable, which I do like. Now, one of the things I don't like, this. This is all the filament that was sent with the machine. It's bamboo, pil it's 20 grams. About enough to print a Benchy. Honestly, where does this promote a good first printing experience? It doesn't, it's a money grab. Now, what I do like about what they did is they sent you tabs, color swatches of every filament color that they sell, matte, glosses, uh, different, mater different material types, PEGG, all that that this machine can print. But 20 grams, you could have sent a spool. Spools are $18 for a full spool and created a really good first time print experience instead of making the client, and some people may not have known that there wasn't more filament than this with the box. So to me, it, it diminishes the first print experience um, when honestly filament's not that expensive. You've already charged $500 for this machine. You could have thrown in what honestly probably cost the manufacturer six or $7 to make that spool. That's just my bit and piece. Um, you buy the big X1 carbons, you get spools with 250, you actually get three of them. Um, but the smaller machines, you don't see that. And even Creality with their K1 Max, they sent a full spool, which blew my mind. 
Um, so I think this is something that can be remedied, honestly. And the fact that it's not even on a spool that we're supposed to just hang it on the filament hanger and hope, pray it works. This is gonna get tangled and wadded and just be a nightmare for the first print experience. This I think is a big fail, but that's just me. What do I know, right? <laughs> but color swatches, this is a good idea and it should be included in every printer personally. Um, but what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna get this all assembled and bring you guys back to show you the full machine. All right guys, so I've got the A1 assembled. It's all put together nice in its beautiful shape. You'll notice the AMS is mounted on top. So the AMS mount for the top is actually a printable upgrade that you do once you have your A1 put together. I'm going to do another video on just cool upgrades for your A1s because there's some for the A1 mini that you need, which I did find a top mount if you watched that video, but also the top mount, there's some stiffeners you can get, you can print and put on here. There's a script, a a tray to catch the scraping droppings, all that kind of stuff. And we're gonna talk about that in another video. But now we are at the point, I have powered on the printer and we're ready to unleash our creativity. And I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with English. I am in North America. I'm gonna select my Wi-Fi. And I'm gonna get this hooked up. The one thing I don't like about this is this screen is really weird to type on. All right, connecting to my Wi-Fi right now. So we'll get connected to the Wi-Fi. And then comes the part where you need the bamboo if you want this. You can skip it, but if you want the Bamboo Labs app on your phone or your iPad or iOS or um, Android device, I'm gonna add a printer. I'm gonna bind this to my count. So I'm gonna scan the QR code. It's gonna see that printer is me and I'm gonna confirm the bind. Now, I'm not showing you guys this because this is my personal account. Um, I do need to check the read and accept the terms of agreement. But what this does is the camera right here will time lapse all that stuff. When it does its checks, it's going to notify me if something's wrong. If my AMS runs out, if something is wrong, it will notify me. And right there, I'll hit the play button in the app. There's our printer, all set up, ready to go. So now we're going to start the calibration. The calibration takes a while. Um, Roughly, you're looking at probably about 30 minutes for it to go through its calibration, but it's required, recommended, and I would do it. Now, what's gonna happen, and I have a feeling this is gonna happen, um, I'm gonna do this calibration, and then it's gonna have a firmware update. Then I have to do the calibration again. So, kinda like getting an Xbox, when you've got an Xbox and a new game comes out, and you buy the game, and before you can even play the game, you gotta do an update. Yeah, same thing. So, I'm gonna start that calibration, it's gonna go through and home all of its accesses and do all that checks, make sure everything's right for the machine to function. And when that's done, I'm gonna circle back to you. All right guys, so calibration complete. I hit okay. It asked me to lubricate the rails, which I already did, which is just removing this place. And with the provided Bamboo Lab lubricant oil, um, you'll lubricate the rails underneath. The QR code here on the screen Hit that with your phone, it'll take you to step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. That's why I skipped it is you guys can, they already have the instructions in video to do that. So we're gonna hit done. And lo and behold, there it is. New firmware required. Now the cool thing about Bamboo Labs firmware, it's real easy to upgrade. Update, update, update in progress. Last time I did one of these, it took about 10 to 15 minutes, and then there's a recalibration you have to do for the new firmware, so I will catch you guys when that is complete. All right, guys, so firmware update done, second calibration done. Now, it's time to print. So there's a lot of files in here that they give you, just as to-go files. There's four pages on the screen. Of course, I'm going to start with my customary benchy but uh yeah there's a blank elephant there's a foldable book stand a strong flying propeller um all kinds of stuff but of course as you should do with any we're gonna do a benchy i'm going to enable time lapse this is going to take 21 minutes I'm gonna hit next. It's going to scan my 
AMS and it's going to read that I got four gray spool, spools on there. I'm going to tell it to print from, from roll one. And away we go with our first print. I'm going to let this print. You guys are going to get to see the time lapse. And we got Mario, apparently. But we're going to let this print. You guys are going to get to see a time lapse of the print. And after all that is said and done, I'm going to come back and we're going to close out my final thoughts with this printer. See you guys after the time lapse. Guys, she just wrapped up her first test print and to show it's still stuck on there right now. It's still cooling off, still a little hot. Got to wait till it's cool before you pull it off. Always remember that. Now you guys can see we've got little bits of waste that it throws off. Uh, got a little extrusion cool down. Um, they make actually a tray. There's a file for a tray that you can actually attach to the side to catch all this. Um, but that's going to be another video where I do a mod video because there's stiffeners that can go on here. There's the bracket for the AMS to go on top. That's all add-ons that you print and add on to the machine. So be ready for a video of A1 goodies to where I do that. So not only for the A1 True, but also I'm going to look at the A1 Mini because there is a bracket to put this up on the top and all that kind of fun stuff that I want to make sure going into it. So overall impressions of the machine. I like it. It's a pretty machine. It took me about 30 minutes to put her together and get her uh, ready for calibration. About another 30 minutes to get through calibration and firmware updates and all that jazz. Completion of the print. Um, and you can turn that audio off, just FYI. Um, which I will be doing probably. Um, but all in all, I think it's a good machine. It's worth its money. I think this may have put the Ender 3 as your first true hardcore printer out of business almost. Um, just the features that the machine has, yes, it's more expensive than an Ender 3, but automatic bed leveling, built-in webcam, the app, all that controllability, scanning, senses, and stuff that it does, you don't get with a normal Ender 3. You gotta buy all that extra. So if you're looking for a tried and true, this is gonna be my first printer. This is how I'm gonna do my work. I think you guys need to consider this one. You can buy it without the AMS and save a few hundred dollars and just have one, uh, one filament clipped on the top feeding into the machine of, um, and being able to print. So kind of keep that in mind. You don't have to do the four spool, but it makes it more fun because you can do color. Now, looking at this experience and compared to other printers, the build time being 30 minutes, that's good. That's not bad at all. Um, I like the extra features that you get with the brush cleaner um, to keep your nozzle clean. Of course, it still does cleaning strips and makes out the little deposits of old filament that are in the nozzle. Replacing the nozzle is quick and easy if need be. And the AMS is a really cool feature to get multicolored prints. The detractors that I found with this one. Um, 20 grams of filament sent with the machine. I felt that was a, that's a big miss. But it's not even on a spool is a big miss. Um, you're not gonna have a good printing experience with that. So if you are buying one of these machines, make sure you order one spool of filament. And I say only one because one, you can't get the money back once you open it and put it to the machine. But two, don't buy a whole bunch so you know this is actually something you want to pursue and have fun with. So some of the upcoming videos, I'm going to do the mods videos. I'm probably going to do one for the A1s and for the X1s. And then also, if you guys want me to do a video on just Bamboo Labs, the software on the computer to go from the internet to printing or from the phone app to printing, we can do that too if you're curious about it. So. Definitely one of those things we can do. Definitely leave the comments down below. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also, you know, hit that thumbs up. It does help us out with all this fun stuff that we do on the channel. I appreciate all of you for watching and we will catch you in the next video.